Hi friends, this is Bakappa. Welcome back to Tester's Talk Channel. In this tutorial, I will discuss how to execute multiple TestNG suit files at one shot. Under the suits folder, we are having an around uh, six suit files. So we will execute three suit files by creating the one master TestNG suit file. So let's make sure that these three data-driven testing using CSV, Excel, and JSON file, all three test ng suit files are working fine so we will execute one by one and we will check it and after that we will create the one master suit file and from that we will be able to execute the all three suit files and if you want you can try to include other suit files also and you should be able to execute the multiple test ng suit files by creating the one master suit file so here i have i am executing the first data driven testing using csv file and if you look at the result so there are three sets of test data which is coming from the csv file and all are getting passed so let's run the second suit file that is data driven testing using excel file and if you look at the result here so there are two sets of test data which is coming from the excel file and this test is working fine. So let's run the third suit file that is data driven testing using JSON file. So let's open the console output. And if you look at here, so there are three sets of test data which is coming from the JSON file. And this test is working fine, right? So let's start creating the one master testng suit file and we can execute from there we can execute the all the testng suit files at one shot so what i will do simply i will copy this suit file and i will paste it inside the project root folder and then i will rename the suit file name as master suit file so that's it and i will open the suit file now from line number 4 to 8, I will simply delete it. I don't want it. And I will rename the suit file name as data driven testing using CSV, Excel, and JSON. So that's it. So it is very simple. You need to specify the only two tags. By using two tags, you can execute the n number of test ng suit files at one shot. So the first tag is suit files so this is a tag you need to use suit files under the suit files you need to create a, another tag called suit file and if you look at here so just if you type less than symbol and you will get the tag name automatically so here you need to pa pass the path of the test ng suit file so let's format this one and i will add the path of the our test ng suit files and if you look at here, so our suit file are suit files are present inside the suits folder, right? So simply I'll say dot forward slash and I'll, I'll add the suits folder followed by the name of the sorry guys, just let me modify this one. Okay, now let's add the One second guys, so here we have added the slash. So that's the reason it is going over there and uh, and it should be a suit file, right? So let's simply add it as a suit file. That's it. So now here we have added the dot because it is, so our test ng suit files are present inside the current project. So that's the reason here I have added the current folder. That's a dot followed, followed, by, uh, followed by suits folder name. And after that, here we have to provide the one by one test ng suit file path. So first time I have I have provided the data driven testing using CSV. Similarly, I will add the another two suit file paths. So here I'll say data driven testing using Excel file. And similarly, I will say here JSON. So 
so that's it let's uh, select all and let me for format this uh, particular file that is a master suit file so this is what you need to do inside the master suit file and automatically all the mentioned test ng suit files will be getting executed at one shot so you can simply you can execute the master suit file how you execute a other test ng suit file and if you run it as a test ng suit automatically all three suits suit file will be getting executed let's open the console output now so execution started so it is executing one by one all the test ng suit files if you look at the output here so this is our suit file name and if you look at the total test and is eight and all are getting passed so let's go little above and if you look at here sorry guys so just i'm going here wow so if you look at the first one of the test ng suit file result that is data driven testing using json so it contains three test and another test ng suit file it contains two test so it is five test and another test ng suit file contains three test so five plus three it will be eight and if you look at look at the overall result also we are having a total test run is eight and also all are getting passed so this is how you can create the master suit file and you can execute n number of test ng suit files at one shot Welcome to API testing full course. You can access all the exercise which we have done in the whole API testing course. I have already provided this link in the video description. So anyone can access this link and also you can get the whole collections and also the environment variable details. So you can take that URL which is there in the description of this below video and paste it in the web browser. And after that, so once it is opened, so you need to export this uh, collections into the your local system. So it will open like this after ex accessing the link. So this is a public access URL which which I have shared it. You can <clears throat> click on this booking API. You can see all the APIs are there inside the two folders. So what you can do is you can click on these three dots and you can export it. So you can click on this export and firstly you can export this booking API collection and after that on the right side you can select the booking API environment and after that click on this icon and click on the edit then you can click on three dots and you can click on this export so this will export the environment variable details so after exporting it so you will get the these two files and once once you have the, these two files you can go to the postman and you can click on this import and make sure you are there in this uh, file tab and you can click on choose files and you can select the firstly collection that's the postman collection and you can open it and after that you can click on import so firstly you can load the postman collection and after that you can load the environment details 
So as I have already these APIs in my system, I don't want to import it. And this is how you can get the exercise which we have done in the API testing full course. You can find all the code which I have discussed in the rest assured API testing full course. You can search with the backup and GitHub in the google.com. And here you can go to the my GitHub repository. And over here in the repositories tab, you will find the rest assured API testing framework. You can go inside the this repository and you can click on this code and you can copy this URI. And by using this URI, and you can simply use the git in your local machine and you can simply clone it by using the git clone and followed by that specify the URL. So you will get the whole code which I have discussed in the rest assured API testing full course.